I'm Margaret M. Wainfield, and I want to make this video, and I don't know uh, if they do any good or not, but um, let me see, I'm moving around again, <clears throat> if I can get this right. Uh, my father's Edward VIII, and I'm tired of the continued lies that have been told about my father, and they are lies. Uh, this is the double that married Wallace Simpson. A double was used. Became the Duke and Duchess of Windsor, an illegal title that two illegals, imposters, got away with. Now, why on earth were they allowed to get away with it? He became the governor of the Bahamas. He took over my father's, well, my father was the king. Uh, so he, they took, it was a forced abdication. This is my father. The real Edward VIII, and this is the double that married Wallace Simpson. A double is just that. He's a look-alike. Now then, here it says, and this is what so many people, when I read today, was still written about this spy, American spy, that took away everything that was my mother's and my father's and knew about my, well, the fact that I was kidnapped. Of course, it came uh, to be. But here's what. The Duke of Windsor and Mrs. Simpson, in the, they li wherever they live, Chateau, May of 1937. At this time, the Duke was just, demanding that his future wife be addressed as Her Royal Highness, an honor that was never accorded her. Oh, this is the double, let me, oh, this is my father right here. This is the double with Miss Simpson. My father was married to Claudia Ruth O'Keefe, Windsor. Uh, sister to artist George O'Keefe. My mom was school teacher. This is my dad again. This is Uncle George, Elizabeth's father, the illegal. 1939, the year I was born, planning my kidnapping. So with Roosevelt, the Illuminati, the Rockefellers, the New World Order that's in place now. Uh, so there's really not much need for me to go on. I, I wanted to get my children up. Uh, it would be nice to show what the United States did to my babies and me because of our namesake. I might add that a lot of the lies that are still being told seems it... Uh, does anybody ever really wonder about why in history that uh, this beautiful man was taken out and my mom, and me, and my children, and my country turned over to a bunch of thugs. And what part, if you believe in the Christian religion, that this plays? Because the very people that kidnapped me, the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bilderbergers, well, the Kennedys, and uh, my own uncle, are Freemasons, Illuminati, the global government that's in place now. So that's what it speaks of in the Bible. And I'm not a biblical person, believe it or not. I believe there's a higher power. I believe he's, there's a man named God, and, and um, we're like him in a lot of ways. Um, I think there's more to that than meets the eye. The one thing I don't think is he's a nutcase, like he would have to be to let these people get into the gates of heaven after I've been run from my home and kidnapped and put in a pigsty and um, Elizabeth is sitting there, there doesn't have to answer questions she's illegal her father they're war criminals uh, lucky on that right getting them tried they control the uh, Netherlands my uh, um, cousin Beatrix these are my cousins and right now, I'm ashamed to say that. I, you know, some of these people are nothing but thugs, war criminals. But to do that, to let me live knowing that they dumped me off in Moulton, Alabama, giving me another name, 
in a pigsty. It really amounted to a pigsty. And having to call Lana Dempsey mother, uh, she killed her twins, Peggy and Carl. The family covered it up. And I was so abused. And the filth and the deprivation and all of it was horrific. They never did one thing to help me and my sons. And there was things done to my sons. God help us all. I hope it's told the truth. They did nothing except enjoy life. And uh, Obama even got to go and stay in Windsor Castle. I guess he stayed in Edinburgh too, but he spent a couple of nights, I believe. I know he did in Windsor. And got to meet with little uh, William on his rocky horse. Can you believe that people buy all this? I look and I see the things that are still said um, about my dad. And part of my family, well, the fact they've never acknowledged me and they've let me live, uh, and my children, the crimes committed against us. So money means a lot to you, even if it isn't yours, right, Elizabeth? So the bigger the crime, the more you get away with it. I hope that, uh, I, well, I'm going to say this. I remember things that happened when before I was kidnapped. I was kidnapped at age two. And they say that you can't remember. Um, a lot of people do. But now the doctors are saying, I've heard reports saying that children can remember uh, back before during the first year and second year. And I mine have been confirmed, the memories I have. Uh, and I remember a beautiful man. I remember this man standing, coming in in the middle of the night, standing over my crib and my father and mother crying and my father trying to get him away from me. He was screaming at me. I'm a, I was a baby because you know what? He wanted to be king at any cost. And he became an illegal one. He's even got a movie by Madonna made. And you know what they t still say in, uh, in Madonna said this when she made the movie. Poor Wallace Simpson. It was the Duke and Duchess of Windsor. Total lie title of two imposters, spies that helped take down the British government. Look at it. And look who's sitting in castles in my home while I'm running up and down the side of the mountain trying to find a place to put a tent, begging for food, begging to find my kids and praying they're okay. And the lies continue. My father had one child. That was me. If any other child exists, it was this man. You should see what all the man was used and I remember some of it. I'm going to show this one more time. I think it's on this one. I've got a lot more. He was used to defame my father and all these photos and appearances. My father was married to my mom all the time. Um, so I don't know. I could go on and on. And it doesn't seem to be doing any good. Um. This is the family where they took me. Anyway, how would you feel?